Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit, lit. It's a unique hustle. Big, big. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official... Miss Jamaica, what's going on? Nothing, nothing, you know, my dad, all gone. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Right at this moment, go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. When I mean all, I mean all. I mean our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. Just Google us. Boss Talk Podcast 101, and we will pop up, I guarantee you. But if you want to see our visuals, you have to go ahead and go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. There you can see all our visuals, except from our exclusive content. Now, if you want our exclusive content, under each and every video, including this one right here in the description section, there is a link that says join our membership. Join our membership and that's how you can see all of our exclusive content. Don't forget to hit subscribe and share and like and all of that other stuff as well. But y'all see us on the street all the time and be like, man, we love what y'all doing. Keep it up, dapping us up, giving us hugs, taking pictures. How can we support your brand? This is how you can support our brand by our membership. Thank you in advance. Man, listen, man. Listen to that woman. I've been listening to her for now 21 years. 21 years. years. You know what I'm saying, man? Listen, man. We got a special guest in here today, y'all. I'm real excited. This guy right here, man, I've been I've been talking to him for over like a year. And yeah. uh, one thing uh, I know Carlos Miller told me one time, me and him was talking, sometimes them interviews don't lock in right when you want them to. Mm -hmm. But when they do, it just build for a better room because y'all been, you've been watching him, he's been watching you, y'all been rocking out, y'all know y'all rock with each other. God's well, time. God's time, man. Listen, we got a guy here today, y'all. Y'all, this guy right here be working, man. He deals with media. He deals with savage life. He deals with all type of different things when it comes down to marketing. I've been watching his page. I'm looking at him. He thinks he's an internet guru. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he in the building, y'all. Super Unit is in the building with Boss Talk 101, man. Yeah, Welcome yeah. to the show, bro. Salute, man. I'm happy to be here, man. Man, it's just a blessing, man. You know what, man? I already know God was going to line it up. I just didn't know when. You know what I'm saying? You Listen, man, I got so much... Uh, you know, that I want to ask you about. I want to talk to you about just, just you know, your introduction to the, you know, just the whole entertainment industry feel, you know, just dealing with all the ways that God gave it to you. So we about to get all the way into it. Miss Jamaica always start this thing off right. And I always, you know, ladies first, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm coming up, I'm coming in. So be, and I'm coming in hot. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> so, for real. Um, born and raised in Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Okay. Glen Oak, um, Sherwood. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Man. South side. You hear me? Let's get it. North, south, east, and west. <laughs> yeah. What makes Baton Rouge different from, <clears throat> say, New Orleans? Because, you know, I always hear, I, I've been hearing so many stories about New Orleans, all the different wards and all that stuff. What is so different about Baton Rouge that makes it stand out different? It's an hour away and it's Baton Rouge. Mm hmm. Baton Rouge and New Orleans are different. New Orleans is spelled in But culture wise, you know. like what's the difference? Uh I I really don't see I like I said, man, we family. Mm -hmm. And this interview is about bridging the gaps. Mm -hmm. You know. Um nothing separates the situation but two two five area code and a five oh four okay. area code. And the right promoters coming together like men, you know? So I yeah, you know, I've been in the back, laid back, you know, I know the hottest promoters in the city. I say I'm the hottest promoter in the city of Baton Rouge because hey. I'm not about to introduce you to just one promoter. I'm about to introduce you to all the promoters from the 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 uh Adrian's of uh Baton Rouge to Q's of uh Bella Noche to Marico's to Club Elite to I got equity in every club in the city. Mm -hmm. And you know, I don't care about boasting about that type of stuff, but, you know, every club owner that I call, they going to pick up the phone. For wow. Because sure. when I think about, okay, because um, you're talking about like a club wise, but then I'm also thinking about, because when I, I've only been to Baton Rouge once, right? Mm -hmm. But when I think about like New Orleans, I think about like all the different festivities that they be having, mm -hmm. all the Mardi Gras Mardi and all Gras, of that. The, um, do they have that in Baton Rouge as well? They do. They do. We got the 225 Fest. Okay. And, you know, again, when you come to Baton Rouge, mm -hmm. I don't know who you came through last time, mm -hmm. 
but you got the guy right here. Okay. You feel me? And I'm gonna show you to all the other guys and all the other people that that really be making it happen. You know, mm -hmm. um, Baton Rouge is underrated, but we the capital city. Okay. You know? Wow. We underrated because it's a lot of people that have been coming through that just been getting bamboozled and introduced to the wrong people. Uh, are to the right people that won't introduce them to the right people. Okay. So, like I said, you know, uh, Boss Talk got a home Man. in Baton Rouge. Louisiana. Come on now. I'm coming. Louis come now. Right oh, back on down now. And it's a lot of artists that need to be put together with a lot of artists here. That's all. Mm -hmm. In Dallas. You know, I've, I've been coming to Dallas for a long time. I got a home, you know, on, you know, it's right, here. Right, right, in right. In Dallas. Uh -huh. And I've been scoping. And I've been putting Mo3. Mm -hmm. I'm the first one brought his music to Baton Rouge. Uh, uh, um, uh, Ronnie, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Ronnie. I'm the first one brought his music to Baton Rouge. When it come to uh, Beezy, Yellow Beezy, mm -hmm. I'm the first one. They seen it on a Boosie platform, but I'm the one that made that happen. You know, okay. and, and this is facts. You know, you can go back to Damn Magazine, Ozone, Vodka, all that type of stuff. I'm the one put the promoters on in in, in Dallas to Ozone Vodka, you know oh, what I'm saying? Oh, wow. And franchising and things of that nature, but, you know. That's hard, man. So, um, <clears throat> were you born in, I mean, sorry, um, with your mom and dad in the same household? Yeah, um, my mom and my dad stayed in the same household. My mom passed when I was 13 in 93. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, she was an wow. uh, instrumental part in my life. How did that affect you at 13? Oh, uh, yeah, it's... I mean, I was in school, and uh, you know, when my mom's passed, I really didn't, I really didn't give a fuck. Was she ill before she passed away? She she passed from cancer. Cancer. She she was you know one breast, two breasts, right? Hair, and you know it just it was crazy from that. You know what I'm saying? So, wow. How, because you know. so all right, because hold on, um, let me stop right there for a minute because I feel you because I lost my mom in '96. To cancel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So well, our stories line up when it comes to that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, I was young, and and at the end of the day. I it, didn't care. She it, taught it was, me morals. It was, it was tough, but I knew she had given me everything that I needed. I, she came right. and talked to me um, when she knew that it was getting close. But mm -hmm. how long was she battling with cancer before she passed away? Years, man. I say about, about three, four years, three years. Did she lose her hair? Mom, like I said, I you know I was young, you know. So you might yeah, not just losing her at thirteen was enough for me. No, you know, and you know I I wasn't obe disobedient to my teachers or anything of that nature. But when it was come when it came time to the teacher calling me to read to the class, I'm on some shit. Like, look, my mama passed. I ain't got time for that. I'm here. I'm a, I'm gonna keep it cordial with y'all, but. I'm not in that rural right now, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm on some other shit. And right. teachers understood, of course. They understood. They that's understood. The, that's, the, the that's students dope. probably didn't understand. I, mm -hmm. I met my best friend in that same time. Oh. Wow. Because my, my teacher, she asked me to read in front of the class, and I was like, nah, get somebody else to do it. Wow. You don't understand what I'm going through right now. I don't have time for this. I need to learn what I need to learn because it's a real rural out here. That's you know real. what I'm saying? Yeah. And Again, when my mom passed, again before she passed, she showed me my my entrepreneurial life. Mm -hmm. You know, she was an evangelist. She toured every church in the city. Wow. I knew every church, every preacher in the city. I knew who was grimy. I knew who needed to come together, and they still need to come together. You know what I'm saying? Just like the promoters of the city. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I don't. You know, wow, thirteen but, man. How did how did they how did y'all? Who who became your legal guardian? Was your father in your life? My my father. Yeah, because he said his father yeah. was in the same household. Yeah, yeah, so he became, he stepped up. Yeah, yeah, he stepped up. You know, he was just, just trying to soothe our pains with, you know, and, you know, back then, we was kids, you know, so trampolines, video arcade games. How the, far are you and Webby apart? Five years. Five years. Who's How many oldest? siblings? You I'm the oldest. Okay. Uh, my sister is five years older than me. Wow. Webby's five years younger than me, and then I got a brother that's one year younger than Webby. Webby, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I, I was expecting you to say another five year. I'm like, that was such a big coincidence. That's all these yeah. five years. No, nah, yeah. that, that, that's my little big, well, my little big sister. Mm 
Mm. You know, and my so she was brother. eighteen when her when so all the same mom and dads. Yeah. So she was eighteen when yeah. her mom passed away. Right. right. Wow. So um, you know how females are. So when something like that happened, did she try to be mom to all of y'all? Yeah, she well, of course, to Webby and my younger brother. You know, she was our they, they sister mama. Right. You know, me, she was my little big sister. Because <laughs> I'm like, you know, if if somebody come play, you know, hey, I'm I'm the big brother. Right. So you're going you gonna to have to see me. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, she was, she was, that's my sister mama. Right. Wow. That's his sister mama. And he still call his sister mama. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's that's all, crazy. That's yeah, he got a song, actually. That says that Sister mama Wow, yeah. wow. How, It she never dropped been yet, happy. Though. Oh really why not No it never dropped That's crazy You know it's a lot of label situations Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know uh, things happen I think around that time uh, Boosie might have Went into the studio And trashed all the Equipment or some shit Yeah oh, it yeah. happens man And that's what people don't understand I love the wha the fact that you know, people we go through stuff, bro. Yeah. That's a that's a part of the the, the whole the journey, bro. The grind. That's the journey. Yeah. Like people think, cause some strange happened, mm -hmm. that stuff gonna happen, bro. Nah. Go ahead. So, um, but get after thirteen, and what helped you to get through school? Cause it seemed like you were, you know, zoned out during that time at thirteen. So, what brought you back into reality, so to say, while you were in school? Music. Music. Master P, Bon B. I was listening to these cats when I'm in high school. Wow. I, you know, I, I had my little putt putt. 93, 94, <laughs> 95. Yeah. That shit was hard, boy. Yeah. It was coming. I had my putt putt. I didn't know, even know what an A&R was, mm -hmm. but I was that for Master P. I was that for Bon B. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that later on in life I was going to be running the situations, the companies, the handling the, uh, the applications behind you know right. the situations you know what i'm saying so you know here wow. we go today so that helps you 93 yeah. no they they man bon b pimp c master p were my they they became my mom they became my mom they became my dad you know what mm. i'm saying Wow, wow, that's what raised you. That's, that's yeah. why you, me and you jive because that music boy is serious. <laughs> and them nineties and still of the day, yeah, they were different. I love them. How old were you when you finally got to meet them? Uh, I mean, around the same. I don't, I don't really remember the age. I just remember that I was happy that Webby and Pimp C were bonding, and you know, I got time to chill with Mama right. West and right. get so, the business clear. You know? So okay, and and I, we kind of moving fast. Yeah. Um, when I think about just because y'all did this at an early age, how old was what was? Because Webby and Boosie met Pimp at the same time, mm -hmm. or did it right? Yeah. Okay, and and at, when they met him, when they met them, y'all was how? Old? I, I'm, he I'm, don't remember. I'm five no, he, years old. They, what, where have you been about they was 16, young. 17. Mm -hmm. 16, 17 years old. So, I, you know, like so I said, you were I was about just, 20, 21. Yeah, I was about 20, 21. And you basically, That's did when you I understand quit my job. what was going on? I quit my on? job at 21. You did? Mm -hmm. I quit my job at 21. That's hard. And um, a club owner in Baton Rouge, uh, Mr. Jazz, we still tight. Like, uh, yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. He gave me the opportunity that I I wanted. You know, I quit my job and I went to him. Look, look, bro, I don't have the monies. I'm not getting paid on the road, but I am who I am, and I got the following. And he gave me a chance. He was like, "Look, you can come to my club and you can do what you want to do. You know, bring your DJ, pay for your own security and things of that nature, and do your thing. And we still going strong to today. Wow." I, you know. But but the thing I want to understand is, I, I I can't fast forward through the point of how this transition with with Boosie and Webby and you say you met Mama West during the same time. Mm -hmm. How did y'all? What was the business like? And and we don't have to go into much detail, but she was the business. She would deal with business for them. Was yeah. were they when you for your recollection were they signing to Pimp or were they? What was it? Was it a signing situation or was well, it just it was, an introduction situation? It was a, they were affiliated for sure. Definitely. 
And again, me, you know, when we, when I heard Wavy rap, I don't need to rap. I'm gonna go to the business for real. So that that's another thing. When mm-hmm. you heard, cause I'm gonna tell you something. That nigga don't stop. You okay? <laughs> when you heard this nigga rap, first of all, when did you first hear this nigga rap? I heard Wavy rap at home, Monticello Boulevard. He. Um, he did a rap over a uh, Jay-Z beat. I forgot what it was, and I'm like, God damn. And then I call up my partner. My partner, he was doing beats for True True Records. Okay, mm-hmm. T-R-U. Pim- yeah. Yeah. Your masterpiece. Master P. Uh, 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 yeah, Tucson. first. Yeah. Tucson, shout out to Tucson. And I said, Two, I need you to do a, a, a fucking um, a mixtape for Webby to present to Trill Entertainment. But by that time, Webby had already went into Trill Entertainment. And just, I'm telling you, he was a monster on the mic. So mm. he went into Trill Entertainment. Hey, hey, hey. And I'm like, all right, well, we good. You know what I'm saying? But I still produced the mixtape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You already, you knew you had to do something with it. Yeah. Nah, but um, nah, Webby, Webby have it. He still got it. You know, um, I had a guy. By the name of Trill Talk No Pill Talk. And I want to say that he didn't, I don't know if he felt like Webby could still do it. Can he still do it? Webby. And matter of fact, he supposed I, to come up here in a few hours. I, I'm glad I said that. It made me think about it. It's my boy. He, I, I, can he still do it? I hate to brag on my brother, my um, artist, but Webby a dog, man. I swear, I, I done went to studio after studio after studio after studio, and I ain't count not one verse that was whack. He you ain't playing no I game. I knew he was going in there to give him that work. You hear me? Really? Like, <laughs> bro, when you were, where did that cadence come from to where it just don't stop? And I'm going to get to talk to him one day, but I know I'm going to get the answer from you because you, <laughs> you was in there. You had to be. It seemed like the verse never ends. Man. Did you hear what I'm saying? We played ball. We played the women, you know, and, and not on a bad tip. You know, we, we I still got women that I deal with that, that love me, like, because I'm I'm coming at my, on, on a business tip, you know, Dallas, New York, wherever, you know, again, so I pimp the business side of this situation when we be pimped the mic. And, and that's crazy too, because I was asking you about how, how, come, how come you don't ever stop it, he don't run out of rhymes. It, when he rhyming, you, you think he gonna get to a part where he gonna hook it or run a chorus? It don't never come. Man. That's what I loved about this nigga, man. That what made him different. You know what I'm saying? So I can imagine how he was doing on that mic because he just keep going, bro. And, and and I'm a big fan of that nigga, man. When it comes down to this music, you know what Same I'm saying? Man. So I've tripped out really because when it first happened, and I ain't trying to over talk you, but. Boosie didn't come in like Webby came in. Boosie came in a little bit behind it, like mm-hmm. like Webby came first. Am I tripping, or did it seem that way? I bought the CD from over that T Town Music, right? They and know I was trying to figure out, like, I bought Boosie's, but when Webby's hit, it wasn't nothing like it. Now Boosie might have had some mixtapes out first or something. I'm telling you, we was on another side of the the the, the, the world. North, Boosie was on the south. Okay. Again, I'm five years older than Webby. We we on the basketball court. We we on the football field. I'm blocking for him. We, you know, y'all doing other things other than the music. It's the same thing. So you know, Webby Webby goes hard for sure. I'm talking now. You know, two days ago before I came here in the studio. You know what I'm saying? He still got it. Don't. Don't get it twisted. He ain't drop. It's quality over quantity, bro, for yeah. one. You know what I'm saying? We don't have to drop all this. A hit is a hit. It's going to last forever. You know what I'm saying? We are still doing shows off Savage One. I know. So I, he can do shows off Savage One, too, and then some of the other and, stuff and, he dropped in between or, or at the end. He still he can do any of that. Yeah. And if I, if, if I go in and... You know, hit my little buttons and do a couple of videos for a couple of songs that everybody really like. Is it my car? Is it oh, my yeah. clothes? That shit went you crazy, man. Like, you got a bitch. Yeah. Hop in my ride. He just, he, he teaching them the game. 
He that's, always have. That's Sweet Jones Jr. That's that's Trilly and T Young Savage. And he was young when he was doing that. Very young. So again, if 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 the right producers come across my direction and I can put them in right, you know, fuck the booty popping music. Fuck that. I, we need some shit with some substance on it. You know what I'm saying? Some shit that's gonna teach these youngsters. Something. That's what I like. You know what I'm saying? But will they digest it? At this time? If he delivering it, they gonna. Yeah, if he died, if he delivering it, they gonna digest yes. it. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I, I, I believe that too. Yeah. When you, when you look at like, like when you look at the whole run and how music is today versus the way when you guys first started out, you had your CDs, you had your cassettes. Mm -hmm. Now you, you now you're in a digital world. How much did that either hurt or help? Y'all's brand when that happened. Again, the I, transformation. I was light years ahead of these cats. You hear me? So it, it didn't hurt me none. You know, I, it's nothing, man. This is CDs. They all gonna come back around. You know, the the magazines. You know, it's gonna all come back right. around. You know, um, it just take the right people doing it. You are one of the guys that, like I said, you, you, you seen it, you could see it coming from a mile away. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, you, you riding the wave of change like I do. Um, but when, when you look at the streaming business and the way that the money converts now versus the way it did when we were hand to hand and tangible, how do you feel about the way that, that the artists are getting paid? Some of them getting right, you know, but that's their fault. Again, Explain that. Why is it they fall? Management is important. You got to have the right people in place to protect, protect, protect you and project you. You know, um, yeah, you just got to have the right management in place, man. The right managers to pave the way. At a certain, a certain caliber, you shouldn't even have people booking you for shows. Book your own goddamn show. Wow. Put your own people in position. You know, if if if, I agree if my that. guy is a good DJ, I'm going to put him at DJ. But I'm going to show him what to do. As You're not just showing up to be a DJ. You need to contact the other DJs yeah. in advance and let them know. You know, hey, man, we be coming down. Let's put something together. Yeah. You know, if you are a producer, you don't, you, you don't just sit on your hands. You call the right producers in the next city and state, and you put together projects that can help when we be pull up. You know, business, personal, role managers, all these people play a, 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 a position. It's do y'all ever get tired, man? People coming at y'all all the time. People want to do this. They want to take pictures. They want to hang out. They want to, they're trying to get to you. Do you ever, does it, is right. it, you've been doing it, y'all have had a longer run than, than a lot of, lot of different people, man. I, I try to fix myself to not to get tired because that's what I signed up for. I signed up to go city to city, state to state and be a blessing to others. You not chosen, then, you know, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna hit right, you know. But if you chosen, you gonna take the good, you gonna take the bad, and you're going to be able to do what you do with all of them. Just a few nights ago, well, a, a, little, a few weeks ago maybe, I see you and Boosie, Boosie coming out on stage. Uh, you you recording Boosie and you recording Webby. And you asked him when, the, when you know, if, if y'all came out with an album, like what, you know, what would it do? And he, he, he does what Boosie does, you know. Um, what was that about? Why did you ask him? Can it really happen that way? Will it happen or they just capping? Will we ever get another Boosie <laughs> and Webby, you know, uh, uh, you know, a whole project? You will. You'll get it. When? I can't say when, but I know Boosie and Webby got at least three shows this weekend. Wow. And it's people like my job to make sure it's convenient for them. If I got to bring the studio to the club, before the club start, that's what I'm gonna do. If I gotta bring the studio after the club, that's what I'm gonna do. If I gotta talk to uh, some badass representatives to make sure that we on the same page, that's what I'm gonna do. Shout out to 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 badass. Shout out to Savage Life. Shout out to the artists that are on Badass Savage Life, from KT Blings to 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 Chaney B. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh it's 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 a lot of. You know what I'm saying? 
Is no. the magic still there? I seen them on stage together, but you was there. And, and, and when you heard them doing that song, I, when they first came out, they were playing the song already. I seen you recording it. That's the only reason I know I wasn't there. But w what was the energy like? Is the, is, the, is the magic still there? Man, from my point, you know, I'm a fan and I'm a I'm an innovator. You know, yes, the magic is definitely there. Um, millions, billions, trillions. I mean, again, it's it's not a, even about the money no more. No, it's it about these cats coming together, putting a project together to be able to give opportunity to, to all the communities that look up to them. They got to change the game. When I think about Boosie, like I said, I always talk about it, and he I know he done heard me say it, Savage Life 1 and 2, no bigger projects ever. Boosie make big songs, yeah. huge songs. <laughs> when he come, the nigga energy right. He can jump on a nigga song and tear his head off. He he. When he show up, he show out every time. They both got two different styles, but when they when you look at the history of Peanut both butter. of them, you know what I'm saying? Peanut butter and jelly. jelly. They they got their differences, but you you can't think about Boosie without thinking about Webby. Oh. In the South, that's niggas got mad at me when I said I listen to Boosie before I listen to Jay Z. Niggas called me. I got phone calls for that. But it, I'm a Southerner, so I gotta be real with myself. Yeah. Cause I was listening at UGK before I was listening to anything else. On any other coast, right? When he when they came with that tell would tell me something good, and even right. before that, I didn't nothing else mattered anymore. Mm -hmm. I heard Bon B and Pimp C before I heard Jay Z. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. my guys, man. I I love what they did for the culture. They yeah. definitely did it for the culture. I love it. And and when you think about Bun in his new element. We gonna get Bun and will we get Bun and Webby back on the track together? And how long will it be, man? I mean, again, I've been I've been working behind the scenes. You know, every time I go to Houston, I'm going with Webby. Hey, man, okay, let's go to Trill Burgers. That Trill Burgers hidden too. Yeah, that damn yeah. Trill Burgers hidden, nigga. You get stuck over yeah. there. <laughs> I need I need them when I when Boosie when Webby and Pimp C was together. I could really relax, you know, but when Pimp C died. Man, it was just, it was, just, you know, it like like I'm here now. This is I'm here for the UGK movement. Oh, okay, I'm here for the Trill movement. I'm here for the Savage Life movement. I I handle the paperwork behind all of these labels, and it's been going on for twenty plus years. Wow, I love it. I'm talking real paperwork. I'm talking physical paperwork. Twenty plus years, kids, the the kid programs to to helping them put together their logos, all this type of stuff is important. You got an entourage following you, you need to appraise your entourage. You need to help your entourage fall into position. If they don't have no company, help them create a company. That's right. Whether it be a promotional company, whether it be a distribution company, whether they jumping in on the management, whatever it is, help them do that. That's the best thing you can do for them. If you wow. ain't doing that, then, you know, yeah. But it got to all work together as a team. So whatever companies that they create, it got to also be helpful for whatever you doing as well. Oh, yeah. Vice versa. Vice you know, I don't, I don't work with nobody unless it's, it's, it's right. a iron sharp and iron, situation. Man. And you learned all of this from Mama Wes? Well, my moms, I learned a lot from my mom. My mm -hmm. moms was, again, she was an evangelist. She was, I'm talking church to church. I. You know, I'm coming home from school thinking that I'm about to go to the celebration station or, you know, we're going to church. <laughs> and when people think about that, they think that you're just going to church to go sing or all of that. But you saying it from a different, from an entrepreneurial side. I'm learning a word. Mm. And then I'm seeing her actually put the business in. So a lot of these women these days with the long lashes and the, the clothing and the, you ain't nothing compared to my mom's. Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing. You, you, you know, they, nah, man. I gotta ask you, I gotta go back to something you said, man, cause it really made me think about it. Like, cause you see sweet, you know, you, you see Pimp C and you see how, how, how uh, Webby always represent Pimp, just like we all do. Yet they had a closer connection for sure. But when he passed away, 
What did you see in Webby that changed? Uh, same, same thing I've seen with Lil Fat. You know what I'm saying? Sure, yeah, R.I.P. Lil Fat. Like it was just a, a vacancy and a void. Like I had to be able to fill that void. You know, like I wanted to, I really wanted to be the manager to Lil Fat. I really wanted to be somebody he can come to and say, hey, um, I'm going through some stuff in the streets. You know, how can you help me? And it never got to that. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So you saying if, if Pimp would have been alive when he would have, he, he would have had somebody to reach out to? Yeah. So I mean, to speak. I, I, I needed Webby to be able to play with other players in the rap world because I'm, I was always, I'm dedicated to the business. Yeah. You know, when Webby out and he talking to the artist, I'm always looking for the, the, the person like me behind the scenes. If, you know, I'm Webby's manager, I'm looking for the manager of Pimp C. I'm looking for the manager of Bumby. I'm looking for the manager of whoever. To try to connect dots. To connect the dots away from the shows, you know, because the only time they talk to each other is, on shows, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and they don't. They, it's, it's very little conversation, mm -hmm. but it's people like me that keep these situations going Monday through Friday. I got a headquarters in Baton Rouge that I allow people to come in from uh, Southern LSU, BRCC interns that I lock in. How did you? How did you get the understanding on how to? open up a headquarters, how to <laughs> open up a business, you know, some of our people need to hear that, like to open up that building, to have that headquarters. Mm -hmm. How did you, uh, you know, how did you know how to go? Like I know business, mm -hmm. uh, I file for a cer certificate, certificate of occupancy, it, it, you know, get a DBA. How did you, shout how did you learn all shout that? Shout out to Mel, shout out to <coughs> Turk, shout out to Mel, Turk shout out Mel. to Turk, you know, uh, Turk, um, you know, I've, I've, I've been working with Turk and Mel for a minute and the best advice Turk gave me was to start my own brand, start my own business and stand on that shit. And when he told me that I didn't, I didn't look back, you know, I started my own brand and I understood why he told me to start my own brand, start my own business so that I can learn the ins and outs of how I wanted people to uh, represent my company. So, um, you know, I wanted to be what wasn't there for me when it was Bun B and Pimp C and Master P. Master P came to my school a couple of times. I want to be that now for the people that I deal with. Which so. is needed. Um, when you look at... Um you say Mel and Turk, you see all the stuff that happened on the internet, how they portray them to be, they didn't do this or they didn't do that. Yeah. How, how did you, do you, you still maintain a relationship with them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, how, know, did, I, how did you maintain that relationship with all the riffraff going on throughout all the years and did it cause disservice, disconnects between you and say Boosie or any of the situations around that? Nah, nah, I, I can say I'm, the, I'm probably the only one who uh, remains a, a solid foundation with the Boosies, with the way I got Boosie on speed dial, I got Webby on speed dial, I got Turk on speed dial, How did I you got do Mel it? on speed dial. How Just did you manage to do that? Stand humble, stand me. You know, I'm not trying to overstand. I, you know, I was, I'm the one that book a Mel and T without a Webby and Boosie. If that makes sense. Webby, to me, Mel and T are like the universals. They're like the empires. They're like the Warner Brothers. And I'm an a and r to their situation. Let me ask you this. I, I talked to Steve Below. Shout out. Steve Below, my boy. And um, Steve, I told him I wanted to interview Mel and Turk. He said that's probably not going to happen because they, they don't do interviews. They behind the scenes. He said they don't do interviews. Yeah. Because me, I'm looking at the core bloodline <laughs> of what the South represent. Yeah. So I'm going at it at every angle, trying to figure out how, how can I get these people? How can I talk to these people? These people need to be standardized down here because the South is already, you know, looked at as if 
there is no structure a lot of times because of the way they project the information mm-hmm. down from the east, the west coast, and up north. So without those people, those players, a lot of those hidden gems that don't ever say nothing, it hurts our culture yeah. down here in the south. I'm so glad. I'm looking for niggas who gonna step up and say something because at the end of the day, we need those pinnacles for all these other, we got a lot of artists in the South. They and, and, and it's a lot of people that, look, I mean, you gotta realize Pimp died believing in the South. You know what right. I'm saying? Uh, mm-hmm. A lot of people, not only Pimp, <clears throat> three, two, all these different people, they stood for something that represent the South. You know, uh, uh, Big Pokey, he just passed away in Houston. Uh, and you know Fat Pat and all the rest of them. The list goes on and on and on. You know what I mean? And a lot of artists in New Orleans and Baton Rouge as well. Yeah. Mail but in, I'm saying, mail in how tea. can we get yeah. the people to step up that need to speak up so that we can see how the business transition so these other youngsters can learn in the South? Mm. You see what I'm well, saying? You, you, you just you you put it on blast. I don't know what camera I need to be looking at. <laughs> they all coming towards you. <laughs> but... <laughs> but Mel and T have been an inspirational piece in this situation. You know, back in the gap, I, I did a uh, event at Bella Noche way back in the gap, and you know, Mel and T showed up, and you know, they they brought the the Bentleys out and all that. You know, they gave back to the community, the 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 uh, school, the kids, and all that type of stuff. That's hard, and you know, I. Of course, I put it together with the help of my interns, and you know, I uh, and, and Mel probably. I told Mel, I said, "Look, <laughs> this is the beginning, man. I need y'all out here. That's right, because y'all ins- inspire me. me. That's but right. It's people that really just want to be behind the well, scenes. Well, you got to understand, you can be behind the scene, but you got to write a book, nigga. Yeah, you can you be behind to. the scene, but you got to give us something. They gonna see what's up." You see what I'm saying? I'm that one that's going to say, hey, this is what really needs to happen. Because at the end of the day, they ain't the only ones. It's some more hidden gems. Mel and T, they need you. No, it, if it ain't they but a book. You. you know what I'm yeah. saying? But something to show the people what we what we stand for, what we represent, how the signature, yeah. how the line's drawn. Without mm-hmm. it, we it just it's just going to fade away. Right, right. No, they, they play the inspirational piece in my life, man. I, I, I wouldn't have been where I'm at if it wasn't for Mel and T, man. You know, like from first class vodka to, you know, again, just allowing me to be a part of Webby's situation, you know. Um, and I don't know if this interview going to help me help them understand that I'm not your enemy. I'm more so your, your help, you know. If that's if this what this interview gonna do, then I'm here for that. That's you know? hard. That's hard. You, you even even uh, I even think about even Tony Draper. It's certain people don't talk, or they you gotta leave something so people yeah. can. Yeah, yeah, we know y'all doing it, mm-hmm. but what you gonna do to signify for the side? And, and they and they solid dudes, man. They 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 to the point where you know it's gonna speak for itself. Yeah, yeah. You know they they employing. Engineers, they definitely employ them. They definitely employ you know, them. But, they got estates, but, and but you got to realize all our constituencies, they stepping out and they stepping up. Mm-hmm. May, I know P didn't make niggas nervous about stepping out and stepping up right yeah. about now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> hey, thank God that we got uh, locked in. We got everything, you know, pretty much to where people. You know, say they got to hear from you, and that's what yeah. I, I like. The fact this is a big step. Because you wanted them one, you I didn't even talk about you the same way. I was just talking about them. I was, I was yeah, about, nigga, you heard what I, I just said. I was I like don't care. Turkey Mel, <laughs> Turkey Mel. I, I was I I was gluing myself to behind the scenes because I'm the one that are gonna go out to city, city, state to state and say Turkey Mel. I'm, God, that's that's them dudes. Yeah, y'all need you want to get a deal? Okay, you need to talk to Turkey Mel. You know what I'm saying? And I was the one that was gonna be you know there to. Make sure the deal went right. You know what I'm saying? But how did they sustain their success? I, I'm gonna let you go. Success all these years like that. These boys been really pivotal. P- pivotal good when it music. comes to good music, Webby, and knowing the business. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But you talk about people in the background who um, prefer to stay in the background. I would always think that those people are like, well, for who need to know? No, I don't have to step forward and really, you know. Yeah tell anybody what I'm doing because who's supposed to know will know, right? Right. 
it speaks for itself. Exactly. Yeah. Real recognized real. That's that's the saying. Real recognized real. But what mm-hmm. I'm saying is to get a game to the youngsters, the the people who might not never get to meet a male in Turk, how do they get the game? They want to play too. They're mm-hmm. gonna play, but they may get played because they don't know the right information. By players like yourself knowing who's behind those situations. Yeah. Like today, you know, I appreciate this situation. Because again, I, I'm I'm silent. I was way behind the scenes. I never cared to be in the front of the scenes because Webby said exactly what I needed to say if it's over the mic. Yeah, you know. Other than that, I enjoy the music. You know, it it, it helped me escape the BS. Mm. You know, so you know I I want Webby to be able to go out and give him game. I still talk to him about it today. You know, and and, and today he's in a state where. I Let me believe give it that to my son. That my he son, is it sounding good? Got, Can he rap like that? Trey retarded. I I vouch for Trey like I vouch for Webby. When really? Webby, when Webby came out back in the gap, Savage like one, and and all my DJs gonna tell you this in Baton Rouge. Go DJs, Trio DJs, Savage Life DJs, whatever you know. They gonna tell you I'm the one brought his business to the table, just like Mo Three. I brought their business to the table. Jeezy, Plies, I brought their music to Baton Rouge. You might didn't hear it, you know, until a 94.1 or a Super Mike picked it up, but I brought their music to Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. Webby and Boosie was running with the Jeezy's, you know, on tour back in the day. They all came out around the same time. Mo three, same thing. You know, I've been coming back and forth to Dallas for a minute. Yeah, you so you and Mo three, what did you see in Mo three uh when you when you was seeing him do his run? What did you what did you like about him? He was a leader. And, you know, again, I I tapped into the persons that were right next to a Mo three. Rain. Rain, yeah. Yeah, Rain don't hear a lot. This is this yeah. Rain come by boss talk. He gonna come drop something <laughs> off. You like yeah. how, how is it? Like I seen. So that's how y'all end up doing that show in Tyler. I remember y'all did a show in Tyler. Yeah, me, me, I, I, um, I came down and I put something together at a boxing ring with uh, Real Life Street Stars. Okay, shout out Real Life Street Stars. And I recorded at least nine artists from K Twan. Yeah, yeah, artists. yeah, yeah. I, I done met K Twan. Baton Rouge and some you know, real life street stars lost the footage, of course. Really? Oh, man. It sent me back. And two weeks after the footage was lost, Mo3 died. Mo3 mm. got killed. Wow. Like, you know, they don't understand. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a superhero to these cats, man. And mm-hmm. I'm here to save these cats from that type of situation. And I came down here to put together the Stop the Violence um, Challenge. This before wow. challenges were even hot. This was uh, the G shit challenge, of course. Wow, that's hard. I recorded nine challenges from here. And again, shout out to K Twan, the rest of the artists. They know who they are. And um, Mo3 was my last guy that I needed to pick up. And he ended up doing the challenge. And shooting his own video to the situation, but he ended up dying. Wow! What did you think when you first heard he had passed away? My honest opinion, I was, you know, I was, I was kind of mad at Rain. Wow! Why? Wow. Because I, you know, these are kids, man. You That's felt like he should have protected him. It's only so much he can do, though. Right. Yeah, it's only so much he So I don't want to blame it all the way home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Rain. I just, you know, again, man, we got to protect these cats, man. And we got to get them to understand that, you know, artist development and them being able to help uh, mold the team mates around them is important. You know, you can't do this shit by yourself. God ain't doing this by itself. He need us. This, this is why we here. Yeah. Because God needed us to do this. That's he it. sacrificed and he needed us to do this. So there ain't, ain't no rapper alive that can say that I don't need a team. All of them need a team. That's like LeBron saying he don't need a team. That's real. You know, 
I created Super Unit to be the NBA of music, the NFL of music. And I came down here to pull the right artists into place. My 21 gun salute, as I call it. You know what wow. I'm saying? Wow. And not just artists, you know, people like yourself. Y'all been handling y'all business for the longest. But in my city, they might not know you. Mm-hmm. The hottest media director there might not know you. That's but real. I'm the cat that's going to introduce y'all. And if you the hottest artist here, I'm going to introduce you to the hottest artist in my city. Wow. And now y'all can put something together. Bridge the gap. That's it. Nobody's been doing that. They all been running behind money. Fuck the money. Fuck the money. Without Money ain't real. It's, it's just like Monopoly. It's, you know what I'm saying? But... The un- unity is 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 more powerful than anything you could ever imagine, man. You, so you so right. I agree hundred percent. Yeah, when it's not about the money, when you got the right resources with the right people, the money gonna come. That's right. That's a hundred percent right. When you think when when you look at just the way our artists are not, they're not they're not coming together. A lot of time, not just in your city, but in a lot of cities, the way that the Internet is, it keeps you to where you can feel like you're already doing it without anybody. A lot of times because you can put music out, you can go to the studio and you can sign your stuff up. Uh, What's that? ASCAP, all Mm -hmm. that, all them different platforms. You you can do it on your own and you just you're out here. If you don't have a team, that music is going to be on all platforms. That's what it is. It's digital distribution, it's physical distribution, it's word of mouth distribution. You know, that's I just named three forms three, of yeah, distribution. Yeah. You know, that's what I went into. When Webby first went into music, I went into school to learn the business. Wow. Business management, you know, the marketing, you know. I I'm, I'm no 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 I was broke going out on the road for a while. I had to create something for myself. I had to create Savage Promotions. That was my first company I started. Wow. I started Savage Promotions because I was broke on the road. I didn't want to do that. I had to have something. I had to get some money. So I started Savage Promotions. I I got into a club in my home city again, DJ's Club Elite. Um, And still to the day, I'm making money in that that joint. What do you do? You've been so successful in managing like how how do you what do what could you say to some of these youngsters just trying to get into management to help them to understand how to get to where you are? Love the artist, love the craft. You know, uh appraise your team members. You know, iron sharp and iron. You know, everybody has to have a position. LeBron play forward, somebody gotta play center. Somebody gotta play point guard. You know, if this is football, Somebody got to play the quarterback. The quarterback needs somebody to hand it off to. Understand the position that lies in these these promotional companies, these these record labels. You know, it's bigger than just being a rapper. A rapper, you come into the company as a rapper. Then you graduate into an artist. An artist has the people behind them. How do you... But hold on, I got a question about it. Because then, okay, so when you just started out and you started as a rapper and you have your entourage with you, which you're trying to get them into certain positions to build a team, in the beginning and starting out, you're not making enough money to pay everybody. Just like you said, you were on the road and you were broke. You had to step out and start your own thing. You don't but, leave your city until you make that happen. Ain't okay. nobody coming up. My entourage ain't coming with me on the road until they can handle business at home. Mm. I don't care who they is. I was the, I was the DJ for Webby when Webby first started. Okay. I didn't like it, but th- as soon as Webby embarrassed me on the mic, I let me. Hey, DJ DJ T God, I need you to come on, step in here. You know, you know, delegate. That's what it's about. Mm-hmm. Utilize who you have. These fans don't want to just be fans. They want to be fans with benefits. Right. I, yeah. 
You're right. You're right. I agree with you. But you you say when he embarrassed you, I had to go back to that. Yeah, you I was say, thinking what, about what the that. hell did he do? What <laughs> I don't want to go there, but like like he said something like, nigga, you ain't do that oh, right. DJ ain't fucking up. DJ fucking DJ, up. You like, I got to get out of here. I'm like, I got hot. I'm like, I, I start sweating. I'm like, hold on, bro. I'm just, I'm your brother, first of all. I'm just playing this shit because, you know, it is what it is. How but, long were you DJing for him before... Uh, no, it, it, it happened. A, it was know. just a one-time thing. Yeah, it was, and that was <laughs> the last time. Hand <laughs> time no, that, and it was my time to get out. That's of right. That. That's right. You know, I didn't take it in no bad, bad way. way. I took it as a okay. That's this what is my you. sign to delegate. And that's not your role. That's not my role. You need I didn't to figure out that. your role. My role was management. But when were so when in his career did you start managing him? Never. People think. I'm with his manager because I carry myself like that. I am a manager. When the paperwork, and shout out to Mel, shout out to T, but I I, I put proposals on certain people's desks and I, I showed them what I could do. I'll shoot them videos to every city and state he go to. I'll make sure that those lawyers, doctors, entrepreneurs, those college students that might not like going to these shows, what to do. And I'm still here. You know? Wow. I, 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 when I think about just the whole situation with you and Webby, you being his brother, I think about, uh, I think about Birdman and Slim. I think about uh, Master P and Silk. You know, like um, these 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 brother factors. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. how have you managed to be able to? Because a lot of times, being family, you get mad and you want to turn your back because of feelings, because emotions get the right. How did you manage to keep it all together throughout all these years of dealing I think with the, the situations? Labels, the labels know that. Okay, that's his brother. He's not going nowhere. You know, and they, so they don't really care to put paperwork in place to help me help them solidify my position. That way I can help them more. But they didn't do that. Wow. And I was like, okay, Webby, look, man, you can start Savage Life Entertainment. You've been hollering Savage Life in all of your music. Let's do that. And he was like, all right, cool, let's do that. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to put my son up. All right, cool. Well, let's go with son then. That's my nephew. I, I got him. You know what I'm saying? And again, today they they know what's up. What, what, what you gotta understand though, like when you when you dealing with all of this, man, you see you see Webby. He even I heard him say it in the last time I seen him. Somebody had to record him. Like man, that internet. Uh, he said that internet, like 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 it's the devil almost. Like he he don't like dealing with the internet too much. Like. How do you how do you, how do y'all maneuver with with the way do he or do he like it? Maybe I'm misconceiving. He still don't like the internet. You know, I like hate it when Webby really start looking at the internet. I hated that. You didn't want him to look at it. Why? I didn't want Why didn't you want him to look at it? Because it's just you know it's it was it was crazy. It's, it's it is the devil if you let it be. It depends mm -hmm. on your I personality. Him to focus on his music. Until he wanted to jump into the business world, because that's where the internet come into play. The internet is business, so you got to know how to monetize these followers. You got to know how to turn your followers into dollars. You know, so certain you know people like Webby, he's not about to look in the DM to, you know, give the time to somebody who just wants to present that music. But people like me, I put a website in place to say, hey. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll get signed up. <laughs> you know wow. Saying? And and how's that? You did that how long ago? About a year ago or? 20. 20? What? 20 years ago. I, I was light years did you ahead read, of you, Did you read, read, you had to redevelop <laughs> it, right? No. Well, year to year, I, I only do year to year. I do my year to year contracts. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, Subi only been around 20 years plus. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I was light years ahead of these cats way back in the day, since MySpace. When MySpace came about, a lot of these cats didn't even know about the internet like that. You know, so, you know, um, 
seeing how MySpace and different social media platforms were going to take off in advance, I wanted to start my own social media. So I'm I'm Tom of MySpace to Super Unit. I'm, I don't know who owns Instagram. I don't know who owns Facebook, but I own my situation. Yeah. You know? And I can put Boosie on the banner. I can put Webby on the banner. I can put my youth programs on the banner, so on and so forth, and give them what they need. But people think that they need to go to Webby or Boosie to get on. You know, so I saw a chick on the internet the other I day seen going that with at T.I. I seen that. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah. Did he and, tell her right? He Did you agree her, with him? He told her right. You got to believe in you. But at the same time, he need to know about artist development. The game been missing it. You got to have artist development, man. T.I., please make sure you get um, a development company for Grand Hustle. So you don't think that they already have that? But they need to develop. What he's saying, these artists need to be developed or help develop. I don't know. His sons and stuff doing pretty good, though. Somebody might be working with them, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I agree with you. They they have somebody has to develop it like that young lady coming up. If she was gonna get in the game, it's gonna take more than she was asking them for. Yeah. She was asking them for direction. So he could have said, Hey, go get signed up here. Go uh, it's my HR right here. Get straight right here. Get you a company. Then we'll start growing from there. Because he's been in the business long enough where I would think that he would have known something like that. Right. A lot of the major artists that these people look up to don't Don't know. know. They don't know. So, you know. What do you say when you go? I seen seen where Webby said something about his kids was doing something bad. They was in there having a threesome. What do you say when you go on the internet and you see this stuff done spilled out? <laughs> he wearing a coat and the coat that look like a halter yeah, top, top yeah. and, and everybody on the internet. What do you as a brother think <laughs> when you go on that internet uh, and you say, "Damn, this shit don't went viral"? Nah, I tell, I, you know, I tell them all the time. You know, good publicity, bad publicity is all good publicity if you have the right people in place for you. Do he believe that? Do he believe that? <laughs> Or do he be like, hell no, nah, man? Nah, you know, he women don't really give a damn. He don't care about what he well, he don't care about I seen I was I see Rainwater was Webby still got chains home from <laughs> Yeah, 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 that was yeah. Webby don't care about none of that. You know what I'm saying? Webby conversation with me is just all about God. For real. That's it. For real. That's dope. For real. That's and dope. I like that he that in that mm-hmm. in that. You know what I'm saying? In that space. Mm-hmm. That's so dope, bro. That feel that feel the void of the pimp. Yeah. Pimp C. And your mother. For me and my mom. And for your mother. Real. That's the whole game. Yes. So I was, you know, cool, stay there. That's hard. Let me be the political mom. Let yeah. me be the mom and go yeah. out there and, you know, yeah. get on asses. You know what I'm saying? You know, shout out to Charleston White. Shout out to all the people that, the, the Drakes and all these people out here that feel like they gotta shoot controversy out there to stay where they need to Nah, man, y'all niggas need to come together. First of all, like the Last Supper. That's real. Drake, uh, Kanye, Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar. I wanna see all of y'all at the table. If y'all ain't all, all at the same table, I might not buy y'all an album. <laughs> but, but you, I, I, wait a minute, on, I gotta ask somebody, he just said uh, this, J. Cole did a, uh, uh, what you about to say that? No, I was talking about a controversy still. That's what I was talking about. Go ahead. Okay, J. Cole did a, uh, 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 he rebuttaled his his, his, his song he put out. <laughs> what, he, I'd never seen that done like that before. <laughs> what did you think about that? Oh, I, I didn't think about it. You I, did? I saw it, but I'm like, I mean, I don't, I don't get into all that, man. I'm, Do it again, seem like I'm it? like Webby. Man, I'm coming to see you, man. I don't, all that talking, whoop the whoop, what's up? Before it get to the internet, we can put something together to make the people really, you know what I'm saying, like gravitate to it, but have a purpose behind it. But people have always got on the on music and went back and forth, even from the beginning of hip hop. Hey, it's time to change. <laughs> you don't think it should be no <laughs> battle rap, man? None, man. It's about 
purpose, man. Like, I don't care to hear it, really. Wow. I don't care. I don't care to hear it. Hear. I want to hear, I want to see leaders out of these rappers. I want, these niggas making 200, 300, 400, 500 grand per show, but ain't fucking with the youth. Wow. Fuck you. That's real. I don't care who you is. That's real. I respect your music, but I don't care who you is. If you making that type of money per show, you should be able to book your own show and put your people in position. That's real. Like these white folks. That's real. NFL, NBA, that's what they doing. Michael Jordan been doing it for long. He's been selling tickets from from the you know, from the from the locker room. He's been putting his people in position, man. Wow, what were you about to say? I don't remember. What? Hmm. I don't remember. Yeah. They wow. gotta put they gotta put each other in position, man. Yeah. They not doing it. They not do, I don't care who it is. Kanye all, all of them they 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 like they folding. They'd rather argue with each other than put their people in position. That's sad. Too. That's crazy. Every one of them got a college in their city. Interns. Interns would love to work for artists. For the free. Wow. I I think you I, like I said, I think because of your your purpose and the way that you you see things, I think I understand, you know, man, you just you being there with Webby all these years. Cause at the end of the day, a lot of people don't know, even know you exist. Yeah, yeah they be that. I'm the shooter. <laughs> That's what they, they, they call better you. get down and stuff. I'm the shooter. You're, they better get down and stuff. Which is, which is, they y'all y'all look alike, so they gonna know it's coming. You play with Webby. Yeah, yeah I don't care. I'll, you play with Boosie, uh, and they need me. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's not a game, bro. It's not a game. Man, and I'm gonna that, do it the most. Smoothest, humblest way. Because you, you you're supposed to be protected over a man because you've been there with him from the beginning. Yeah, they they helped me. How out, did they man. even meet? Boost and Webby? Yeah. I, again, Webby went into the studio and started hawking on the mic. <laughs> oh, that that was when he met when you were saying it earlier. <laughs> and, and and I guess that was between Mel and Turk that, yeah, that they that, put it together. Wow. They put it together. That's crazy. The peanut butter and jelly. When is the <laughs> movie coming out? When is the series coming Cold, out? Well, I don't know. Cold World, the movie, is like 90% right now. We um, Is that, we, well, okay, what movie is that? What is that about? Well, uh, Cold World, um, Webby, of course, is starring in that movie. He got a lot of other, you know, players in that movie. Um, it's a, a, a young, um, disgruntled, Man that lost his wife in the business or in the in the in this crazy world, and he went crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like he did, you know, with the music now. You know, he he went crazy with it. He's he's that guy, you know. And I I don't like to say it because people look. Well, that's your brother. You gonna say it because that's your brother? No, I'm saying it because if I wasn't his brother, I'm gonna listen to his music and I'm gonna rep what he he talking about. You know, Pimp C left something behind. Mama West left something behind. UGK, I fuck with that. I wouldn't be where I'm at without that. Trill, I fuck with that. Do I you still be. reach out to Bun every now and then? No, I again, I never had. You never had a relationship with him like that. With the artists like that, I've been around all of them. I've been around everybody, but I never really wanted to talk to the artists because they really didn't have nothing that they can offer me. Cause you wanted to do the 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 the. I want to get the business clear. The business side of it, behind every situation. Wow. You know, I seen the future. Yeah. And I, you know, I don't want that. But I don't want the rap part. You know. Uh, when you talk about the business and you talk about the record labels and all of that, um, in today's society where you have social media and. Part of the business, with especially with the labels, are causing controversy and all of that sort of stuff to um, skyrocket your career or to have people talking about you and stuff like that. Just like when I watch movies and you see how, say, example, um, Webby, 
record label might say put something out and say Webby is talking to <coughs> Sexy Red or something like that. You know, they're involved, although they're not involved, but they're putting it out there because she's hot right now. And, you know, what do you think about labels doing stuff like that, especially when it's not true, just to get people talking about it? I don't know if it's the labels doing it. It might be the media companies that's doing that part. But uh, I think that artists should uh, collaborate with each other when they find out that each artist is holding a certain um, caliber in their own city. So, you know, outside of the music, it's about the business. Mm -hmm. Get it clear. I don't, you can go write a hit, but at the same time, who has the budget at the end of the day? And who's gonna be playing with the budget once we say go? That's yeah, real. because I saw online where um, Scrappy made a comment about Keisha Cole because something happened where Keisha Cole, they said Keisha Cole and Honcho was together or involved. Mm -hmm. And Scrappy's like, no, that's a lie. You know, it's the labels who pay, put that out. So that's where I got that from. Yeah. <laughs> and she no, was like, no, that's Cap you only saying that because uh -huh. labels paid you to do something like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's happening like that. Atlanta okay. is big for that. Okay. You know, the the, uh, the controversial situation. In, instead of somebody getting into a fight on a reality show, they, they do stuff like that, mm -hmm. which is not a problem. You know, it's, it's called illumination. You know, that's where they get the Illuminati from. Mm -hmm. You know, nothing wrong with that. If the artist knows how to play off of those situations, you know, I can go and sign to a label for a billion dollars, but I have to be able to hold that understanding for, for a couple of months for sure right. to make that money. Mm -hmm. Boss Talk 101, um, Listen, man, Super, you got to do me this big favor. You got to get me, Boosie, and Webby on the Boss Talk one. one on One the same time so I can shut the internet down. Boosie, Webby, stop <laughs> fucking playing. Stop fucking playing. Come to Boss hey, Talk, Vlad man. TV, Vlad TV, I love you. <laughs> cool. All that's cool. But you heard me? When you want to come get it done, you heard me got to come right Ball's here. Boss Talk 101. Boss Talk 101. I need Webby and Boosie right here. And let's get the business clear. That's hard, man. Let's go real fucking hard, man. That's hard for the South, man. We ain't got long to live. N come on, man. Don't the go streets, there. The streets want y'all. Ooh, that's crazy. They, no, they don't want y'all. They need y'all. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm begging Webby and Boosie. Put some time aside. Wow. Come together. Enjoy this Knock out this shit. Enjoy Knock out the album. And then you can go enjoy yourself. That's it. You ain't got to sing nothing per show. They going to sing it back to you because they just want, they want y'all together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But when, I'm, I'm going to tell you something, though. They they both dope, man. And when you look at him, look at Boosie and how he deal with his kids, man. Man, I, I love what he doing with the streets and just the place. And then when you look at, at, at Webby and he, you say, hey, man, he just want to give it to his son. That's your nephew. Like, hey, man. man, that's hard. And bro. all like, of my nephew. Yeah, Tootie. I know that. Tootie and all of them. But I'm just saying, these, all of them, your nephew, right? But when you look at how that family is oriented and how God done blessed him, mm -hmm. look at their kids, bro. Look at, I, I seen... We've been trying to race his kids. I could have whooped him. I done did that. What happened to me when I ran from the car and jumped in the Escalade? You got hurt. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So I done did that. So it yeah. ain't nothing like he by himself. I just didn't have no camera on. Yeah. But I'm nigga knocking at too old of age. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> but what I'm saying is, man, to see them. Like, I got my kids and stuff, man. They and my daughter go to Brown. My son working on all field. My other son. And right now, so I'm yeah. going to a, a, a banquet, banquet, right? He's 16. He's driving right now. Um, man, just family and kids, man. And right. just, just that's, that's, that's gangster to me, bro. No, it is. It is. That's the I, most gangster part of everything we do. I want to say something outside of Webby and Boosie. Uh, you know, the badass syndicate crew. The Savage Life crew, the Trill crew, I need y'all to help me bridge these gaps. The UGK wow. crew, I come need y'all to help me bridge these gaps. The the DJs, if the DJs can come together along from those entities, they can put together the best tour in the world. You're right. 
but they haven't been on the phone with each other. They haven't been in. If Webby and Boosie and these Mel T help me orchestrate that meeting alone. Wow. You got a UGK tour. That's a Fallen Soldiers tour on top of that. Then you got you know, the Trill tour. That includes all, you know. If everything. Don't get me excited. When was the first time you heard the word trill be used? That's a good question. Um, Bobby, pimp. For sure. Yeah. yeah. For sure. And what did you think about it when you first seen it and heard it and, and just the way it was? You, you bit on it like a big mouth bass. Man. You, you fell into it like a fish in the water, right? right? Pimp, Bombi, and Master P. They can't tell me nothing about them. They raised me. You love them. A-Ball, MJG. A-Ball, they MJG. Raised, they raised me. They all raised me. And when my mom passed, they, that's all I had. Man, and that's cold, man, because I'm going to tell you something, man. I, I feel the same way when it come down to just the music and the way they excited me when the new songs came out. You remember going there, whether it was to a, a, a music store, they had all kind of music. Remember that? You yeah. go to CD store. Yeah. We got, we got excited when you, hey, when you put the, when you was able to put the headphones on inside the music store. Yeah. You remember that? You get to listen to it and it's they wouldn't play the whole yeah, song. Yeah. They it's wouldn't play the whole bit. song. They'll give yeah. you a little bit. I wanted, I wanted it because of the CD itself. The, the, the time that they took to put it, they, yeah. they put the engineers in there. They put the producers in there. Yeah, features, that. yeah. We let them water down our situation. Sure man. did, because that they used to say inspirational quotes on there that yeah. really took people a long ways, bro. They used to give shout-outs to everybody shout who helped on the something. album. If you if you open up the right one, That's it's a poster. Truth, bro. You can put the poster on your wall. Man, I had posters on my wall for 10 years plus, man. From people, music that inspired me. How do we get it back, Super? We here right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm telling you right now. In this magazine, the music is going into this magazine. Okay. The people going into this magazine. Wow. We shaking the block back, man. And, and that's your magazine. Yeah, yeah. Let me Chronic, see that magazine. Chronic magazine. Chronic baby. magazine, yeah. man. How can the I get these? Number one magazine, marijuana magazine in the South. It's soon hard. to be. The north, south, east, and west. west yeah, and, and you represented to the fullest too. I got to. I got and my to. boy, man. Ice T, all of them in here. You got them in here. Everybody. In there. And you even got a girl in here, like the that's old, my, old hey, Ebony you, posters. You that's me next to her. Ebony. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you sitting over there next to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You done yeah. signed it. Come on, man. Man, this probably be my copy, bro. Man, you, hey, bro. There what? You go. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Hey, I got, I gotta have me one. The No Limit Joint tomorrow. Yes, for sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, tell my, me. My, yeah, I get my, it. my chronic babies. All of them gonna be in the building. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'm coming. Yeah. That's yeah. who been helping me all my life. I haven't been a rapper, but I got people behind me that that really work with me. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm really excited because I know already this is something we gonna do all the time. You always come and talk on here, man. I'm with you, man. Anytime. That's what I'm saying. You come pull up anytime, bro. Or I come. I'm coming down there. You come to Baton right Rouge. there. That, right. Well, Baton where am Rouge. I coming? Babe? I always yeah. come. She lied a while ago, too. She been to Baton Rouge two or three times. I but, oh, I've been up, going to that one time. We go through there every time we go to New Orleans. Going through yeah. and being there is two different things. Hey, I got the spot, man. <laughs> you don't got to do nothing but show, show up. up. I'm going to pull up with the cameras and everything. After parties. Oh, that, bro, I'm chilling. We the people that they should be giving flowers to. That's what this magazine is about. Your flowers. Did, how, how, how did you even learn about the ozone, uh, Mac, ozone, and and, and Julia, Julia Bell and all of them? How did you? How I did seen you, Julia on the streets. She, she, she was, was you know, she was on Boss Talk before. Go ahead. Yeah, Julia was on the streets thugging back in the day. That Julia, I love Julia. You love Julia, man. She. She really, she really got me on this she inspired you. magazine situation. I, I really didn't want her to end the Ozone magazine. You didn't? No. But I found Chronic magazine, and I'm like, okay. I'm going to rock with Chronic. But you miss Ozone. You love the way she... I love Ozone. She, she dope, man. She'll, she'll go across country. She go overseas a lot, bro. She, I, I, I'm, every time I, I, I email her, she emails me she back. She's life. She living life. And, and living life. I remember last time she was here, she was like, I hadn't been home in like probably like six months. She'd been in other countries and just traveling. And that's that's dope, man. Like when you can figure it out like that and just go with the flow of what you feel, 
Man, right. come on, man. That's a sense of freedom that a lot of people have never experienced. Nobody, yes. You see? <laughs> and, that, and that's why I chose the management world, man, because I wanted to be free. I, you know, again, I quit my job, man, and I went to a club in Baton Rouge, 200, 250 capacity club, and I begged the owner to let me handle business there. And wow. He opened the doors. He cool. We ended up buying the club. From all the business that was coming through the situation, and like I said, I'm still, I still got equity in the situation. I make money from here. Wow, you know what I'm saying? And and I, I still meet the people that I need to meet. You know, he with the whole program. If any promoters coming through there that want to do something, he calling me up or telling them to sign up online. You know, so man, let me ask you this, um, self, and and you might can help me with this. Um, you you from Jamaica, right? Okay. That's that can be a question because you already know where I'm from. <laughs> uh, can, can we get boosted in Jamaica, man? It's about to happen. <laughs> look, look. And uh, Webbing boosted. KT I want, I'm blings. Here, I want Boosie and Webby <laughs> performing it. KT Bling. I want Webby and Boosie performing. They're going to show up for Mm-hmm. Boosie got his monotone right now. Oh yeah, he can't so go. So we still cool. We we, cool. we gonna do him virtual. We got work. Yeah. Oh no, no, we gonna do it. We gonna do it the right way. How we gonna get him? When he get off his monitor, he going. He going. That's How much more time KT before he Blaine's gets off? Came from here, from from um from Dallas, from Nigeria. They over there with Boosie now. Wow. You know, I sent them over there. That's all. It. That's my guys. You know. Work want, with the badass I, crew. I, I want to see Savage Life and uh, Badass ENT in Jamaica. This the beginning of it. <laughs> you know, so that'll be hard, man. <laughs> so, cause we got it. We got it. Cause they gonna love them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, they, nah. they been hearing that music. That music been everywhere for generations. What What was that song they came? What What did they come out to? Uh, that when you was playing, when you was recording, and what was that? Because they was swerve, they were, it could have been swerve. Yeah, they was both on that whole man. Mm -hmm. Them <laughs> niggas, and he was rapping. And I know the boots look back at him. <laughs> them niggas were going in, man. Man, them dudes on how stage. You, is how, magical. how does how does he how does when you get ready for a show with 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 your brother? He be geared to go. And when he get that stage, he just ready, no matter what. Yeah, he he, he stay ready. He he good. He like a. Oh, five ready. That's easy for him. Light work. That's easy. That's <laughs> easy. Man, how can people get old to you, man? We gonna hear this thing. How can people get old to you if they trying to rock out with you? Did we get everything? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm straight down the middle, like one eight hundred collect two two five two eight eight five zero eight zero. Or they can hit me up on IG super underscore unit S U P A underscore unit. You know what I'm saying? If they can't get me there, hit up Boss Talk. Get it. Top three artists of all time that are alive. <sighs> Nip. Mm -hmm. that's, your, that's your boy, Nip. Number two? Nip. Um, I got to say 50. Okay. And number three? I could pick two. No, number three. What? Just one more. But well, Boosie and where we go together. <laughs> uh, nah, uh, just one more. So you going to drop somebody off to put two of them on? All right, well, I'm going to holler at you. Uh... Nip, just because Nip is uh, uh, deceased. Okay. But uh, Boosie and Webby, I know that they have. Boosie, Webby, and, okay. Boosie, Webby, and, and 50. And 50. I'm, and okay. I'm with you on that one. All the way. So I'm a big 50 fan. <laughs> I ain't no big Eminem <laughs> fan. I'm being real. Yeah. But I'm a 50 fan. And if it wasn't for him, you know, I don't know if I even got that 50 like that. But Yeah, nah. But 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 I'm a 50, 50 from the jump because of the the gulliness, the yeah. the street. I've been shot nine times. And the time. business and the business for sure. Yeah. The ending, he put the icing on the top he with the business. Ass on the internet. You see right that street boy thing? Yeah, that nigga. Let beast, me ask man. you a question though. Um, you always talk about well, you was a UGK before a Jay Z fan and stuff like that. But you always say you love Fifty. Fifty from New York, right? Right. Jay Z from New York, right? But how you show so much love for 50 but not for jay because it's a difference uh me and jay uh, I, I never listened to jay music like that when 50 came out this nigga was jamming he had to and it's it, not just because and they're both jamming, street 
I'm talking the business. I'm talking 50 is out So out Jay here. not business? No, Jay, Jay like us, Jay business, man. But Jay ain't giving himself to the people. He ain't, I ain't seeing him at Baton Rouge. I ain't, I ain't seen Ooh. I ain't seen him come to Shreveport. I ain't seen him come to Houston. He got a spot in Texas. He got a spot in Texas. 50 got the cowboy hat on like shit. That nigga up? kicking it with us. Business. You hear me? You right. answered that perfect. I don't see Jay doing that, but I respect Jay. I respect what he talking about through his music, but I don't see him. I've been around all Diddy, I've been around I don't respect Diddy like I respect 50. Me neither. 50 is a businessman. I'm a big, he I'm a big he 50 a Cent fan. He was a he was a rapper. He became an artist. He's a businessman. But he always showed love to the South too. He always respected mm -hmm. him. He, he always showed example. love. Him if and these Pete. artists can't get it. Yeah. He, he by always himself. showed love. The Bucks, the whoever in his crew that ain't making no money, that got something to say about, man, they need to slap. The fact of the matter is, man, the one thing I can tell you about 50 is what you said earlier. He putting all his people in position. Yes, at all times. That's what differentiate he, him from that's the what Jay Z's. I, and that's what make it whoever else. It's it's a not, and it's not just a. It's obvious. You Rock, can see Rock's him coming right behind him though. Yeah, you got to put your people in position, man. You've been chosen for a certain position. You that guy. You need to know how to put your people in position. Period. Wow. Man, thank you so much, man. You said it perfectly, man. I guess we're going to end it on that note. I hate to even stop this interview. I love talking to this nigga. You know what I'm saying? This nigga right here look like we me. We like this. Yeah. We like <laughs> this, this nigga, man. man. Check it, man. Listen, man. Super. Straight the Killed up. Boss Talk 101. That boy came on here, man, showed me so much love. And I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. Y'all can rest assured he going to come back. He going to do it again. Straight up. It's going down. Boss Talk 101. Mr. Maker, make sure you guys check out the next clip, man, because I ain't going to lie, it's going down. Super's Clips is off the chain. Y'all get ready, man. It's about to go crazy. Let's go crazy. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, one of Bosses Talk. Come on.